It's a lot of fun. Keep it fun. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the UK Packers podcast. As usual, I'm your host at the NFL on Twitter, and of course, follow the group at UK Packers. And it's an absolute pleasure. And I very rarely, it's like getting um, a dessert brought to your table, and then the waiter just brings another dessert to your table, and you know you get to enjoy it. It's Jason Wildey again. Jason, what you know? Did you do something wrong in a past life to have to listen to me twice? <laughs> Well, no, I think it's two things. One, I was so jealous that so many of my colleagues had been on before I was <laughs> right. that I decided I'm just going to do it every week. Uh, and second, well, I am so – anybody who listens to Wildey and Tausch or listens to me in press conferences, mm. I'm so long-winded that my answers were far too long in our first installment. So <laughs> I'm going to focus on being pissy. Right. Uh, but I wanted to give you a little bit of extra time because I have been so long-winded the last time we talked. I like long-winded um, because, you know, it's a, you're, you're an expert interviewer. And I'll have a question for you later on in the podcast, kind of about technique, let's say. And uh, does, is there anything worse, Jason, than when you're talking to somebody and they give you this like and you must get it all the time and I don't mean to delve into the, the sort of interview question straight away but I mean do you experience that much um, now I know your technique is if I m- might say so myself is very friendly very approachable uh, very human and certainly from our part one podcast which is out now um, is that you know you make people feel welcome and you have a way and a knack of you know, getting to the bones of a story and keeping the very human element to it and understanding that they're people too. So how many times have you come across a player and I'm going to mention a guy if you don't mention him, uh, that when you talk to them that it's kind of, it's a one word answer and it's very hard to get anything out of. And does that really disappoint you as a journalist to have to put so much prep into an interview and get that response back? Um, Sure, it's disappointing when you're unsuccessful and and especially when, I appreciate what you said, um, it is the, it's, I don't think I'm great at anything that we do. I, I think I mentioned that the last time I, I, you know, Rob's a great reporter and um, I, I think I'm an okay storyteller, but I'm not the greatest writer ever by any means. And so the one thing that I like to think I'm good at is the interview and, yeah. and getting people to talk. And, and when you don't, and when you fail, yeah, of course it's disappointing. Now there are some instances where that's, has nothing to do with the quality of your questions, whether it's uh, bad experiences in the past for that player or he's just a jerk. I mean, there's a lot of reasons. I would say my biggest frustration with the Packers has been in recent years, and and I don't know where it traces to. Uh, I I don't think it's Ted Thompson. Mm. Um, I don't know. I don't know who would be the person that would have led these players to feel this way, but they have they definitely have become increasingly guarded and it takes longer to gain their trust. And and maybe that's just how the media is perceived in general. Maybe that's something that they learn when they get to 1265 Lombardi Avenue. Yeah. But you know, that's why you, you appreciate the ones that you get to a point with where uh, they are willing, but I'll give you a perfect example. So David Bakhtiari suffers an injury in training camp last year um and so i texted with him back and forth and i said look i I need to ask you you know you think you're all right is there anything he sent me uh, the thumbs up emoji and he said i'm fine don't worry about it so i used it in a story and he said that somebody in the building came down on him for it and i said david it's your ankle (laughs) like who are they to tell you that you can't text me a thumbs up he didn't give me the full diagnosis and so he and I, and, and he's one of the guys that I have a great relationship with. Mm. You know, he comes on the show, he gives me time one-on-one uh, in, in whatever I want it. And so we kind of talked through it and I said, look, man, I would never hang you out to dry, but you got to remember, you know, there's a lot of fans that care a lot about you more than just, well, we want the best left tackle in the game to be protecting our quarterback. They, they do care. They, I think Packers fans are authentic in that. And I said, you gave them, what they were hoping to hear and you didn't give too much information. And so, you know, to borrow a phrase that you mentioned to me before we get started every time when I'm on with you, uh, you tell them to piss off. <laughs> and, and, and that's the truth. And so, um, and he and I have been great since, but I was, I couldn't get over that, that here's a guy 
a, an all pro player being told by someone in the building, mm. you know, well, you shouldn't really tell Jason that. Really? Yeah. I don't understand that. Well, you see, people are getting a real glimpse into the pre-production. It's just me swearing like a sailor um, at the guests. And then... <laughs> <laughs> so, look... I've